Hello, everybody, and welcome to our uh, English class today. This is Colingo.com. If you want to join us, you can you can go to Colingo.com and join the class. Hello, Wafa. Welcome back. Yes, hi. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> No worries, no worries. Um, yes, it's lobster class time. I was excited for my lobster class. Uh, we do talk a lot about lobsters in these classes. But now we can really... I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. We're not going to do anything with Lily. She's going to remain uh, intact. We're not going to eat Lily today. But we might eat some of her friends and family. Uh, but I might use Lily as an example to show the different parts of a lobster. So Lily's our friend, and she'll stay. She'll stay alive. Don't worry. Welcome, Tajitin. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? Good. Okay. So, um, this class is uh, an intermediate class. Again, we're going to spend more time on the grammar skill than we do on discussion. And, uh, but don't worry, we will definitely talk about lobsters. Uh, not sure what other classes are happening at the moment, but I can find out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whenever blue skies are We have... We have... Uh, Mary is teaching a class on Japan's nuclear nightmare. Ooh, and that's an advanced class. So if anyone's looking for an advanced class, you can go to that other class that's happening. But I think you guys are both in the right place for this intermediate lobster class. Perfect. Uh, so how was your day today, Tajitin? Uh, it was a good uh, day. It was a good day. Uh, I work very hard. Now uh, I'm at home and I'm uh, resting. Yes. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, it's so hard to hear you, but I can understand you. It's just, it's just very muffled sounding. It's hard to understand you. I'm not sure. If it's the microphone or something. Maybe I can uh, close to the computer. Maybe that might help. That might help. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah, because uh, it's very important for us to be able to communicate. And I can hear you better now. Yes. Good. Great. So, um, yeah, today's food food and health class, we're going to talk about lobsters, uh, langostura, and how to... Uh, they're, they're daunting little creatures. So how do you eat them? What does that word mean, daunting? Whoa. Anyone ever seen that word before? No. Yes. No, I didn't have to. Or, uh, so if something is daunting, then it's something that is very difficult or seems difficult or intimidating. If it's intimidating, then it looks difficult and you're scared uh, because it looks hard. If you're scared of because it looks hard, it means it's daunting. So maybe you'd like to join that other class that's happening right now. It's, uh, there's an advanced class that Mary's teaching right now. But maybe it's a little too daunting for you. Maybe it's a little too difficult. So instead you take my lobster class, which is intermediate, intermediate class, and a little bit easier. Yes. I, I, I guess it's uh, scary a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like scary. Scary because of how hard it is. Like, I'd like to go back to 
college to study linguistics myself. Uh, but it's a little daunting. It's a little scared because it's gonna be, it'd be a lot of work. But I, it sounds fun, though. It sounds fun. Daunting. So that's a good vocabulary word. Uh, so uh, today's grammar skill, we're going to talk about adjectives. So nothing too bad. There's a lot of adjectives are great. It makes our language more colorful. It makes our language more interesting. Uh, it helps us to to understand what we're talking about. It helps us to describe things. So um, let's see if I can get you to use some adjectives this this evening. Uh, um, Wafa. Uh, how did your dinner taste today? And please be as descriptive as possible. Mm, that is some good coffee. Sorry? How did your dinner taste today? And please be descriptive about it. Um, taste good. <laughs> Tastes good, huh? All right. Uh huh. Anything else? Any other things you can just any other ways, ways you can describe your dinner? about what else how else can we describe food what are some words what are some words we can use to talk about food how do things taste if uh, if it's uh, if food is here's some there's some great descri describing delicious. words delicious oh, delicious okay that's a, that's a much more interesting way to say that is good and you could be very descriptive if you talk about the different kinds of tastes let's talk about that for a minute if something is really if you eat a lemon, have you ever eaten a lemon, and you like this, and that's and that's because it's sour. Sour food can be sour. Uh, it's got a sour taste, maybe. Uh, salty. Salty food can be salty. salty. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Maybe your dinner bitter, was salty. Maybe. Bitter. 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 Nutritious. Bitter. Bitter? Bitter. Bitter. Yes. Yeah, bitter. bitter. Yeah, bitter. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, it's got a sharp taste. Sometimes coffee can be bitter. This is black coffee, and black coffee yes. can be a little bitter. Bitter. Maybe chocolate. Mm -hmm. okay. Chocolate. That dark chocolate can be bitter. What else can mm -hmm. chocolate be if it's not dark? If it's milk chocolate, what what's what does chocolate milky, taste? Milky chocolate. Mm-hmm. What does milk chocolate taste like? How can you describe milk chocolate? Or milk far? chocolate. It sounds delicious. <laughs> is it salty? It tastes like milk and chocolate. It tastes like milk and chocolate. Sweet. Uh, sweet. Yeah, how about sweet? Yes, that's a good word to describe chocolate. Sweet, bitter, salty, sour. Delicious, of course. Uh, so, so I like these descriptive words. You can really get accurate uh, on our food. What? Um, yummy. Yummy? Yes. That's kind of like delicious. It's not as, it's not as, uh, not as accurate as sweet or bitter or salt, salty, but yummy is like delicious. It's like an informal. Yummy is informal delicious. That's a yummy sandwich. That's a yummy piece of chocolate. Uh, what did you say, uh, Tajitin? Uh, hot pepper, hot like hot. Ah, yes, hot. So hot has two different words. Uh, it can be, uh, oh, it's hot. I can't burn my if you burn your lips because it just came out of the oven. It's very hot. Or, or it could be spicy. 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 It's like, yes. ah, it's like really hot. And you, 
and it's got lots of spices and it's like and it's like you know, with hot peppers and spicy peppers and it's you can barely eat it it's so spicy but it's still tasty and of course food could also be served cold so you could talk about the temperature it could be hot or cold um, maybe ice cream is frozen ice cream is very cold and sweet right lots of ways we can describe foods hmm. Uh, the opposite of a dessert, if you're talking about a hamburger or something like, like a hamburger, is the opposite of ice cream, maybe. We use the word savory. So meat or sausage or cheese or things like that, we call that savory. Savory. It's the opposite of sweet. It's like something you eat for dinner. It's probably going to be savory and not sweet. Probably, unless you just have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Tajasan? How did your dinner taste today? What did you have for dinner, and how did it taste? My dinner was a little bit hot, and uh, also salty. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit hot, a little salty. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, what was your dinner? What did you eat today? I, uh, I eat uh, pasta. Pasta? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghetti, yes. And fresh uh, uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Good. That sounds fried, delicious. Fresh fried, fried vegetables. Uh, fried vegetables, you said? Oh, I'm actually baked. Baked, baked. vegetables. Baked. Baked, yes. Okay. Yes, so baked and fried are very different. Fry, you put on a pan, yes. some kind yes. of oil, and bake, you put it in the oven and heat it around for a long time. Yes. So now, uh, with that we have all these great uh, new food adjectives that we can choose from. Uh, maybe you can be more descriptive about your dinner. Um, you can use some, any, of these, any of these great new words that we've talked about. So what, uh, how else can you describe your dinner? Um, was, um, yum. <laughs> I was talking about one of the other new words. <laughs> Actually, I didn't have my dinner today. But you didn't have your dinner. Yeah. You need to eat dinner. You need to eat. Fasting today. You're fasting today? But I was fasting today. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I just want to make sure you're healthy. What about yesterday? What did you have for dinner yesterday? Rice and some other things. Rice and some other things. Yes, <laughs> like what? Spicy things. Spicy things. Ooh, okay, good. That's a good adjective. I like spicy things. Um, like meat or vegetables or potatoes. Vegetables. Mixed vegetables. vegetables. Mixed vegetables. Okay, great. Tasty, tasty, spicy. So, um, as I mentioned before, uh, our grammar skill is adjectives. That's what we've been talking about already. So, what what does an adjective do? What are what are adjectives? Adjective modifies noun. Mm -hmm. An adjective modifies nouns and give extra information uh, mm -hmm. related to the uh, noun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, so it modifies a noun and it gives you more information, extra information on, on what it's all about. So you can talk about a house and it's like, okay, it's a house, big deal. But if you say it's a big house or a tall house or a skinny house or a red house or a new house or an old house, yes. these are uh, it makes you know more about stone. now. Maybe stone house. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That's construction. Is it a stone house? Is it a wooden house? A metal house? Maybe it's a house made of brick. I don't know. So um, it tells us about more about the man. Um, I want to talk more about adjectives. Let's take a look at uh, our lesson here. So this tells us all about adjectives. And uh, unfortunately, Wafa is having internet problems. So, but let's read on. Tajitin, will you read the first part, please? Mm, what can I read? What is the text? Oh, okay. oh, you don't see the text? Oh, OK. Uh, Wafa, do you see anything on the screen, or just my face? Yes, I can't see anything. Uh, uh, I can see your uh, picture, yes. Yeah. What about now? No? No, no, sorry. Just your okay. picture. Okay. Let, me re let me refresh this screen. I'll be back in 20 seconds. OK. All right, now, do you see me? Yes. Yes, that was 10 seconds. I, was, I, I missed you guys. So I yes, we are very fast. Yes, Your computer is fast. Yes, I'm a very fast person. It's a good adjective. <laughs> yes. I, I exercise. I, I run very fast. All right, so let's take a, let's take a look here again. Now, now you can see? Yes, I can. Great. OK, go ahead and read the first part, Tajutin. First, adjectives are words that describe a noun. There are two main types of formats for using adjectives. It can be used to describe what something is when you use the to be word Construction subject, I, he, team, plus is, am, are, to be word, plus adjective. John is handsome. They are happy. It can be used with a word after the subject. Construction, subject, plus word, plus adjective. Tim ate a large pizza. They built a small house. They do not have a singular or plural form. They do, they do not have a masculine or feminine. Adjectives can also be placed at the end of a sentence when they describe the subject. My sister is beautiful. The dog is mean. Right. OK, good. So yeah, um, unlike many languages, some languages have plural adjectives or masculine or feminine adjectives, not in English. So it's very simple. Adjectives are very simple. We never change them in, uh, uh, in, uh, in English. Uh, except for there's one, I can think of one exception to the rule. There's one exception where we use masculine and feminine adjectives in English. Do you know that? No, I don't. He's blonde. That's She's the only thing. Mm. It's no, pronounced no. exactly. It's pronounced exactly the same. He yeah. is blonde. She is blonde. Same pronunciation, but different spelling. It's the only thing I can think of in English where we change the gender in the adjective. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's that's the uh, that's the uh, caveat there. That's a, don't put a star on that. <laughs> okay. Um, second, there's a difference between adjectives ending in ing and ed. This is important. 
ing adjectives uh, usually come from the source of feeling. So it comes from the source. Something is exciting. Something is amazing. It's interesting. Something is surprising. The movie was exciting. It was an amazing night. The night was amazing. And ed adjectives, it comes from, uh, that's for the person receiving the feeling. Excited, amazed, interested, surprised. So if the movie was exciting, that makes you excited. She was excited to meet him. Jack was amazed at her beauty. That means her beauty, her beauty is amazing, and Jack was amazed by her beauty. So remember that one. It's important. So if I'm a boring teacher, then you are bored. <laughs> yes. It's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so if I'm a teacher, or if I'm a, I'm a, an exciting teacher, that means you are. If I'm excited, you are, you are, you are exciting. Mm -hmm. So if I'm exciting, what does that make you? You are exciting. Uh, you are a good teacher. You are. Uh, I uh, okay. Uh, when I uh, listen to you, I was. I am excited. Good, exactly. So if you think I'm an exciting teacher, that makes you excited, exactly. You're excited to be in this great class. Right. Uh, welcome back, Wafa. We just covered the ING and ED adjectives, which is a very important part. And um, I want to make sure that you're following this part. So we're talking about the difference between ING and ED adjectives. Um, so. Um, well, uh, if you had uh, a, an amazing dinner, if the dinner was amazing, then how does that make you feel? Using uh, the amaze. Uh, I was amazed. Right, exactly. Amazed. Amazed, exactly. So if the dinner was amazing, then you were amazed by how delicious it was. Okay. Uh, well, uh, why don't you read the third part here? Um, third, when using more than one adjective, they they follow particular order. You, you will typically use no more than three adjectives in the sentence. The order is op opinion, demands, age, shape, color, orange. Arrange material. Opinion. Uh, A fascinating poem. Beautiful girl. Fascinating poem. Beautiful girl. Um, small car. A uh, fat lip. Um, an old man. Um, something is very, uh, something very old and ancient, ancient. Ancient artifact. <clears throat> yeah, shape a round ball and uh, awful beer. Um, color a white car. The yellow apple. Mm -hmm. An an Egyptian mm, mommy, mommy, and an American man. A steel box. A silver ring. The ugly boy. Uh, uh, ugly, the ugly old plastic box. The she bought slim red French dress. Right. So there's all these different kinds of adjectives. So we've got opinion. I think it's a fascinating poem. We got dimension. Is it small? Is it tall? Is it little? Is it big? Age. 
ancient, shape, color, origin, and material. Is it made of wood? Made of metal? That's the last thing you say. Material. Good. Uh, welcome, Susu. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Nice to see you. And welcome, Koro. Hello. Sorry, yesterday it was a little chaos here, <laughs> but now I am. I have time to enjoy the class. Oh, good. I'm glad. We're glad you're here. Good to see you. Okay. So um, finally, uh, we're gonna look. Uh, we're just talking about adjectives. We're just finishing up this this lesson on mm -hmm. adjectives. And um, Koro, why don't you read this fourth little part here? Yes, fourth nouns can also describe other nouns, just like adjectives. There are actually more common than typical adjectives. The sports car in the yard or the science book on the table. Great. Okay. Okay, so any uh, uh, so this yeah these are interesting adjectives because these are like nouns using nouns as an adjective. Um, science book, uh, a baseball bat, uh, yeah. All right. Any questions about adjectives before we no. talk about? This? Okay. Good. So. Um, so Koro and Susu, I don't know if you were here at all in our classes yesterday, but we've changed our format again so that we've, um, we've uh, made our classes more accurate to the skill level and we've changed the format for the different skill levels. So the, this is an intermediate class and we spend more time on the grammar skill than we do on the article and the discussion afterwards. Uh, but you came here just in time for the article, <laughs> so we'll talk. About, we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about lobsters today, <laughs> and how to a lobster. Is this a real one or? Um, I hope not, because it's been sitting, it's been sitting on my desk for four years, so five years. So I hope it's not real. It probably won't be a lobster. So um, it's just uh, it's my friend Lily. And, Lily? Um, yes, yes. I know Lily. <laughs> yeah, yes. Lily, yes, yes. She helps me with various parts of my work here. And so let's take a look at this lesson on how to eat a lobster, how to crack and eat a whole lobster. It's not easy. Um, and I'll share the uh, link with you. If you, by the way, since you, the, for the people who are new, if you look to the right on the chat screen, you see all the different, some great words to use to describe food. Those are food adjectives. <laughs> okay. How to crack and eat a whole lobster. That's a real lobster. See, it's much more red. What you need, lobster scissors. No, you don't really need them. A bowl for empty shells. Plenty of napkins, of course, because it's very messy. Very messy. A lobster cracker, which is this. It kind of looks like a nutcracker. A thin metal seafood pick. That's this little sharp thing. It looks like something that you see in the dentist's office. Yes. <laughs> Uh, melted butter, oh yes, very good. And of course you need a lobster to eat a lobster. It's summertime, which means lobster prices have lowered and many people are enjoying eating these delectable crustaceans at clam bakes and other alfresco situations. I just love sultry summer evenings, sitting on the back porch and digging into some freshly steamed lobster accompanied by a chilled Pinot Grigio, laughing with good friends. 
If this sounds good to you but find the idea of eating a whole uncracked lobster a bit intimidating, I hope the following guide will help you give you some confidence. This is a great paragraph when talking about adjectives. There's great adjectives here. But let, what about this adjective? What is, uh, I talked about a new, I, I, I told everyone about a new uh, word that's the beginning of class that means intimidating. Who remembers what word? Daunting. Daunting. Yeah. Yes, daunting. So if you scroll up to the top of my chat here, um, you could also replace this with daunting. If something is intimidating, if something seems scary and difficult, then it's daunting or intimidating. Uh, what about delectable crustaceans? What does that mean? What does delectable mean? Delightful, for example. Uh huh. Yeah. Delightful. Yes, tasty. Yeah. Delicious. Tasty, exactly. So you're talking about food usually when you're talking about delectable. So it just means delicious, tasty, delightful, delightfully tasty. Very good, very tasty, delectable. And a crustacean is a kind of animal that like lobster, crab, shrimp, these are all crustaceans. What about al fresco? This is in italics because it's in a different language. So what language is that and what does it mean? I bet you can guess, Koro. Fresh or something yeah. so. Yeah, so it means, uh, it literally probably translates to fresh because that's Italian, but it's similar to Spanish. And, uh, but in, in English, when we say alfresco, it means to eat outside, eating outside. Um, um, so that's what they're talking about, eating on the back porch, uh, uh, eating and drinking some chilled white wine. White wine goes well with seafood, by the way. If you're looking for a wine to pair with fish or seafood, uh, they recommend white, chilled white wine with seafood and fish. Okay, so you're going to need a whole cooked lobster that has been dunked in an ice bath to stop the cooking process and make them easier to handle. You're going to need small bowls of melted butter, uh, you need, uh, we already talked about all the stuff, all the tools. You need scissors, bowl, napkins, crackers, nutcrackers, and seafood picks. Here's the instructions. Number one, remove the claws by holding the lobster body in one hand and twisting the claws off with your other hand. So first, see what he's doing here. You're mm -hmm. twisting, you twist it. If you twist it, it comes right off. And that, uh, let me, so to twist, the, the verb to twist is like to twist. <laughs> twist it. <laughs> it this, this part, twist. Hello, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. Hello. So <laughs> uh, poor Lily is going to be eaten soon. Uh, all right. Next, you separate the tail from the body by twisting and pulling them apart with your hands. Let's look at it another. See, that just comes right off. Um, he's kind of covering it up, but this part in this hand is the tail, and you can twist it and pull it right off. Again, so you're looking at the lobster, at the guy here. And we have the body here, and starting right here, we have the tail. And so, if you start, if you put your hand right here, and you twist the whole, twist the whole body like that, like that, and it'll come right off. And delicious meat you'll find in the tail. Uh, very nice. Very delectable. Delectable. Uh, now, don't throw out the body or the head section, there's a lot of meat in there. First, pull the top shell away from the body and discard. What does discard mean? We talked about this yesterday. Anyone remember? Was anyone in my classes yesterday? I talked about the word discard. Discard, throw. Yep, it's a, it's a phrasal verb. Base. Phrasal verb. Base. Throw, throw away. 
throw, throw away. There's a difference between throw and throw away. To throw is like if I throw, I just threw Lily. Not really, she's still here, just joking. But that's throw. But throw away is a different verb. Throw away is throwing something in the garbage, in the trash. You throw away. You don't, don't discard it. Don't throw it away in the garbage. Keep it and eat it. Is there a difference between uh, this pose or this huh? card? What are this pose or this card? Is it similar? Uh, this, is what similar? This pose. This, this, pose. this pose, yes. This pose. Oh, yes, exactly. Yes. To dispose of. To dispose of. Don't dispose of the body. Yes, that is the same. Yes, that is a synonym. Good, good. Dispose of, to throw away, to discard. Those all mean the same thing. Right. Exactly. So, um, look inside the cavity. The green stuff is called tamale, and it's edible. It means you can eat it. Edible, you can eat it. It's basically the lobster liver. Remove it. If your lobster is a female, you'll see black or red row in the body cavity which is lobster caviar, and it's good. If it's black, it's uncooked, so don't eat it this way. Steam it for a few minutes until it turns red, and then it is edible. Let's look for some pictures here. See how the cavity, you can pull away the shell from the cavity like this, and then you see some more meat in here, and you see a little green tamale, uh, or some, uh, uh, some of this green stuff in there. There is, there's the tamale. It looks kind of disgusting, but it's really delicious, actually. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so that's a picture of that. Pull the legs and pale-colored spongy gills away from the body. Suck the meat and juices out of the legs. So this is the spongy gills that's the... This stuff is a spongy gills. They're talking about gills. You don't need to eat that. Yeah, that's the spongy stuff. You can, you don't need that. But these, these legs, you can put your mouth on it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. You can put your mouth on it and just suck it like a straw, and it suck the meat right out. Very good. Um, next, extract the tail meat out of the shell in one piece. Stick your finger in the base of the tail in the smallest opening where the tail flaps were and push the tail meat out. It will look like a giant shrimp. If your lobster is a female, you'll find roe at the top ridge of the tail meat. It's delicious. However, if it's black, it's undercooked and inedible. Uh, they already told us that. That's redundant, but anyway. So let's see what's next here. Rib meat. Separate the claws at the joints there. I'm confused. I don't see. Hmm. Oh, I, p I passed some stuff, didn't I? <laughs> um, so uh, back to the body cavity. A okay, after you eat the legs, sorry about that. After you eat the legs, you go back to the body cavity. Pick out the thin, papery shells, separating the meat, and then you'll end up with about a three-quarters of a cup of lobster rib meat. So that was that picture here. That's the lobster rib meat. Okay? And uh, go back to the claws. Separate the claws at the joints to get four pieces. Use the crackers or scissors to remove the shell and get to the meat. I prefer the scissors, as sometimes the crackers crunch the claws up into little bits that get in the meat, and I like having one big, unbroken piece of delicious claw meat. Me too. I love the claw. It's so good. So you separate it at the arm there, the wrist, basically. Use the crackers or scissors to remove the shell, and then you have something very beautiful. Uh, oh, it doesn't show the claw, but anyway. So now we'll go back to that last thing we talked about. Uh, uh, 
this is again, we just talked about to stick your finger in the base of the tail uh, and push out the tail meat. So you're taking all these little flaps off. Those flaps they're talking about are these little guys here. You can take these off. So then all you have is this part here. Uh, there is uh, some meat in the flaps. You can suck on the flaps and get the meat out too. Okay. Stick your finger in the base of the tail. So you stick your finger right in, and then the tail comes out this way. Stick your finger in here and push it right out. Oh yeah, yeah. See that? See that? It looks like a giant. Whoa, whoa, shrimp. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> I am poor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. yes. So this is all meat. That's all lobster meat right there. Pure meat. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. So good. It's delicious. You, and you remember, you don't just eat it. You have to dip it in melted butter first. And it's even better. You dip it in melted butter. Now, especially uh, here as a bonus, if your lobster is a female, you'll find roe in the tail. This is the roe here. So remember... Make sure it's red so that you can eat it. This is the lobster eggs. Uh, it's like caviar. Uh, okay, salty and stuff. So, and that's how you eat a lobster. By the way, uh, they recommend to do this outside al fresco. Uh, as shells and lobster juices drip and fly around. If you eat outdoors, you don't have to mop and wipe down the kitchen. But if you have to eat inside, don't eat over carpet if you can avoid it. Uh, or set a tarp down for easy cleanup. It's like a big piece of plastic. Set down some kind of thing on top of the rug. Try to get enough tools so each diner has their own set of seafood scissors, crackers, or picks. And that's how you eat a lobster. Now you know, next time you go to a restaurant and get a giant plate with a big old lobster right on it, and you're like, what do I do with this guy or girl? You start twisting and turning, and you know all the different things. It takes a little practice. Or just look at somebody else that's doing it and watch him. Maybe you know, that might help too. So that's, that's it. That's how you eat a lobster. And now I'm hungry for lobster. I do. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and uh, there's a link there that you can look at later if you want to study up on how to eat a lobster. So, um, um, so how can uh, how can you describe uh, the process of eating a lobster? Uh, how do you just? How can you? What what words can be used to describe this process of eating a lobster? Susu. It's it's kind of complicated. <laughs> kind it's of complicated. Yeah, kind of yeah. complicated. It's your first time. Okay, good. Good. Okay, yeah, definitely. It's, you have to remember all these little tips and tricks. Kind of complicated. What other words can we use to describe it? Washington. <laughs> cooking uh, lobster uh, is very hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It needs to uh, competency. If you are not competency in uh, cooking, it's difficult. Maybe difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the cooking isn't too hard. You just have to boil it for the right amount of time. It's just you throw it in boiling water when it's alive. They're peeling, maybe. Then, but the eating it is, is, is yeah, more hard. Eat, you more eating, is, eating must be delicious. Must, mm -hmm. must be very good eating. Delicious eating. Mm. But preparing and cooking uh, is very hard and very hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Well, Fa, what about you? How do you? How can we describe this process? This what we just read. Or 
our coral. The it's delicious. I, I think uh, it's not uh, too complicated to boil it uh, lobster, and the second one is to eat. It's not so complicated when you have seen it when you was kid, and you learn it. It's not complicated. Well, For example, in the Basque Country or in North Spain, it's very normal to learn this when you are a kid. And mm. now it isn't complicated for me. Yes, yeah, so it, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not everybody grows up in the Basque country. Not everyone grows up in the side. Yeah, the yes, sorry. But it's not a... Oh, my mom is calling. <laughs> but uh, it's not a complicated thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, so Koro is very fortunate. She grew up uh, where it's not hard to find... Uh, Lobster, and it's common to eat lobster. So she grew up as a child learning how to do it. So of but course lobster or other uh, seafood is not so complicated. Mm -hmm. Of course, because you've had practice. Yes. So, so, but, <laughs> so, you're different. so some of these people here have never had a lobster. They're like, what do I do with this? It's crazy. It looks crazy. What? How do I eat this with a knife and fork? I don't know. So for so some people, it's like, what do I do? It's expensive. It's the only one. It's very expensive, but <laughs> it's not uh, difficult. Yes, it is expensive. Lobster is very expensive. Yes. So if you've mm -hmm. had lobster, then you're very fortunate to have had lobster. Mm -hmm. Can I ask something? Mm -hmm. how, would, how does it taste? Like what? Like fish? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so <laughs> difficult. Uh, no, it's not fish. It's like... Um, I will yeah, be a, like poetry, but you can say a kiss from the sea or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a kiss from the sea. That's a good description. That's a great. I like that description. It's a, li a little <laughs> poetry thing, lyric, but it's so. Lobster <laughs> is a poetry. Lobster is poetry. It's delicious. It's, it's the best. <laughs> okay. Well, Susu, Susu, have you ever had uh, crab? No. Sorry. No, you no. never had crab. Oh. One moment, sorry. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, it's kind of like crab, but if you haven't had crab, uh, what about uh, shrimp? Shrimp. Can you write in the chat? So oh, I can look mm -hmm. to a picture. Oh. These are some more um, famous seafood types. You never had crab or shrimp? Okay. I had shrimp before. Yeah. Now okay. I've seen the picture, yes, I did. Okay. So it's um, shrimp is it tastes a little it tastes different from shrimp. It tastes the meat is almost sweeter than shrimp. Um, it's got a fuller flavor. Uh, it's similar to shrimp, but it's much better than shrimp. Much better. And of course, when you dip that meat in melted butter, it makes it more savory, more delicious, and it's like uh, it just brings out more of the flavor in the in the lobster, and it's just it's luxurious. That's the only way I can describe it. It's just uh, it's one of the best things you can ever possibly put in your mouth. It's a uh, yeah, a kiss from the sea. I think that's the best description. I like Cotton's. Uh, so Koro has, has been fortunate to have eaten lobster before. She's very lucky. Who else here has tried lobster in their life? No, not Susu, because she was asking me. Mm -hmm. I've had it before. Mm -hmm. Wafa's had it. And how can you describe it? Because Susu is wondering how it tastes. Uh, uh, where did you have it? So I can go. In Yimba. Uh, okay. Send me the place on Facebook, please. <laughs> the name of the place. Uh, save up your money. Save your money because lobster is expensive. Yeah. Tajitin, have you uh, had lobster? I... No, no, uh, I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Wafa, what were you saying? Like, um, I have it like five years ago. Ah, five years ago. Uh huh. So, uh,. Yeah, and did you have a whole lobster, or you said it was pieces? 
Yeah, like pieces. Mm -hmm. Gri yeah, uh, so, like yeah. grill. Grilled, that's right, yeah, grilled lobster. Yeah, that's common to grill it. Now, the one we talked about was boiled. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, grilled and boiled are, are adjectives. Uh, Kledsen? Hello? We have a new new guest. I just want to welcome you, Clayton. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Clayton Gomez? Oh, I can't hear you. It's very, very, very quiet. Okay, uh, I'm just checking my, my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, your voice is very small. It's like, like oh, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I don't that, no. <laughs> I just can't hear you. Uh, it sounds like you're like, like, far away in the distance. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe you have to turn up your mic, turn it, turn the volume higher. Anyway, yeah, it's nice because to... I, I, I was in my, I am in my, my work. Ah, so you have to be quiet. Now. You're at work. Uh -oh. yeah, I just testing. I'm just ah. testing. Oh, just testing out. Okay, well, that's good because we're at the end of the class, but everything's working. And uh, is this your first time in Colingo? No, uh, that's my second time. Oh, second time. Okay, well, welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, I am with, with my my friend, Carlos. Oh. I'll show you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Too. Yes. Yes, yeah, good to meet you guys. So please join my next. I have some more classes uh, later on today, and maybe uh, I'll see you later. Okay, thank you. Yeah, good, good. All right, cool. So, um, well, that's the uh, that's the end of our class. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to do assessment. Oh, it's too bad. But um, you did use some good adjectives throughout the class, and I appreciate that. So. Uh, and I know you do very well with that, so maybe we'll work on it with some in some future classes. But especially remember the difference between the ed and ing uh, adjectives, right? Ed and ing. What's the difference? What's the difference between uh, uh, amazing and amazed? What's they're both sending and receiving. Uh, ing adjectives uh, is sending something and uh, ed adjectives is receiving. Right, exactly. So it, very good. So an ing adjective is something that the ed adjective is receiving. So if the lobster tasted amazing, that means you were amazed by the lobster. Right, good, exactly. So that's a good one to remember the ing versus ed. One to use. So good job, good job. Okay, um, all right. That's the end of our class. I have two more classes this evening, uh, and we'll be talking about the next one is just uh, uh, history and culture. But we're just going to talk about commonly mispronounced English words. So it'll be like a little okay. workshop on commonly mispronounced English words. And after that, I have a music class, which is actually kind of a pop culture class. We're talking about Elvis and how his... Hmm. Uh, we're talking about his... Mm -hmm. The place he was buried at one time has been sold. Somebody bought his old crypt. Uh, so it's a story about Elvis's crypt. That's like the place he was buried when he died uh, originally. He's in another place now. So... Elvis. It'll be fun. So thanks, everyone. I hope you're not too hungry now. And uh, good job. <laughs> so. Thanks, Bob. I'll see you guys. Great, and Lily. <laughs> Great, Lily. Bye, Bye. 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 later. Lily, Lily. <laughs> Great from Spain. <laughs> okay, all. Take care. Bye.